Welcome back to Let's Play Dunny Legacy, and in this video I'll be reading the 8th journal of Agmus, which is actually really short. Journal entry 736. I don't think the age is yet complete. Surely even partially complete, it stands as one of my more advanced attempts. It is fairly cold here due to the fact that night reigns over the day, as was the purpose. Despite the frigid air, the view of the stars is spectacular. I am happy to have written it just for Noira. I'm sure she will be pleased with her wedding gift. Journal Entry 738 Today was the day. Two souls promised to be there on end for each other forever, and I've presented to her the gift. She seemed ecstatic with a smile and tear, although Noira deserves more. I have already begun plans for a structure on the small island, a place where she can observe all those bright wonders in the sky. It is far too late to be writing. I will turn in for the night and fill out the details of this magical day in tomorrow's journal. Journal Entry 768 the construction of the star viewer is nearly finished. It's of a fairly simple design, a rotating dome amidst the rocks. The tube was harder to create. Discovering the mathematical aspects of the lenses was just as tedious as learning how to write. Several friends from Galen will be bringing the last materials needed for the viewer and in a few days. Journal Entry 771 She hasn't left Gierum in nearly three days! It seems that Noira has come closer to the star than I had anticipated. I am starting to feel like I come in second hand. Of course not, yet I hope she comes back to Galen before this frigid air numbs her senses. I don't know how long she sits in there, watching the flow of stars move across the universe, perhaps feeling that she is there with them, among that place where light and dark merge to create beauty, she feels complete. Journal 1263 With Castor's desecrational rampage among our ages, I've installed a code for the storeroom, lest his madness get any further. To get into the storeroom, one must press on the symbol for Galen two times, then the symbol for Gierum once, then Cesar twice, and finally Alev once. The symbols represent an important figure in each age. And you can see here the symbol for Gierum, which is obviously the rotational dome. And that's it for this journal. So again, I'll see you in the next video.